Hello and welcome back to another computer sluggish tutorial. So today we're going to be taking a look at the new Razer Cortex beta. So this is an open beta, you can download it. So I'm just going to press download now. The link is in the description below, so you can download that below using that link. So this is the new open beta. So here we've got what's new. So we've got a refamped UI and color palette. We got a game dashboard, so access all content related to your games in the dashboard, such as recorded media, FPS charts, and related deals. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So post-game performance reports. So review the performance of your system after each gaming session. So that's pretty awesome. I, I like that feature. That you don't get that in any other gaming booster programs. OK, so we've got smart search searching for a game will bring up its library entry as well as related content for that title. Faster and more responsive, quicker game scanning and shorter loading times on Razer Cortex deals. So that's what we want to see. We want the program to be as fast as possible and more responsive. So improving boosting now with CPU core unparking. OK, so that that's good. That's what we want with our slow computers. We want our games to run to the full speed. So that's what this is going to do all the time. They are improving Razer Cortex. And if you see my last tutorial, we're about to see the difference. So I'm hoping to see a lot of difference. And rumor has it Windows 10 are actually going to be doing a new update soon, which will be focused on Windows 10 gamers and they're going to add in a feature to make it so we can run our games a lot better and they disable certain stuff in Windows so we can get more speed. So I read somewhere. Anyway, so back to Razer Cortex. So we now need to run the setup file. So I've just clicked that in the top right hand corner on Firefox and let's just unblock and trust and let's just turn this off because it's going to annoy me let's just right click for a minute and go trust all for 30 minutes okay so we should now have the setup there it is for razor cortex so we're now going to go next and accept and i'm just going to install it to my c drive so that's fine so let's create a desktop icon so we're now in 2017 hope you all have a great new year fingers crossed i will as well so we've got our new little 2017 background there so that's just unpacking everything so you just gotta wait for this to finish it will only take a couple of seconds so i'm really looking forward to trying this out i've not actually tried um the new beta route so this is going to be exciting to see the changes they've done. As you know, my system's absolutely fine and fast, so I don't actually need to run Razer Cortex on my computer because it can handle all games pretty much on high graphics anyway. Um, yeah, so I don't really need to run this, but on my other machine, it is only running at a dual core 2 um, E6600 processor and it's only got 8 gig of RAM so it is a bit old that machine so this sort of program does come handy on that machine so let's just I don't want to launch it on startup but you might when you log into Windows so we're just going to launch Razer Cortex now so that should hopefully be up it's got a little icon down the bottom right corner here so that's pretty cool so I'm now going to log in Okay, so once you've logged in, you can now add a unique Razer ID and nickname. So I'm just going to go with, let's just go with computer sluggish. So that is absolutely fine. It's already taken though, apparently. So let's just do one, two, three. I've obviously already got an account with that username. So straight away, I can see the difference here. Obviously, we've got a green banner up the top. And it does look more, um, how can I say this? Obviously, it's more of a flat design there, so flat UI. And it's very white, should we say. So I suppose that's a bit more clear, a bit more 
um, viewable and easy. So it's just loading up a few of my games now as we can see. So it's doing that all by itself which is cool. And there we go. I think it's actually loaded them all. Okay, that, that was pretty quick actually. That was quick and good. So it's just loading up the images as well for the games. So if we go on to, let's go on to Arc and go on to View Dashboard. So what have we got here then? So we can start the game. Obviously it boot up Steam. It, tell, it tells us here how many hours we played in game. So that's, that's pretty cool. So you can keep track on your in-game stats for games. And here is this new FPS chart. So what have we got here then? So it will tell us our frames per second. So what sort of frames per second we've been getting in-game. And we've got our graphics card, our process down there. And the resolution and the memory. So we got average, minimum, and max. So that that is really cool. That that is definitely pretty cool. I like that. I must say. So let's click on settings here. So that's just where the program is. Okay. So let's just go back and let's boot up Adventure Capitalist. So let's just start that game. So it's now running the boost. So it's Freed up so far 600 meg of RAM, so that that is ideal. So obviously we've minimised down in the bottom right -hand corner here. So let's just drag that there, our icon, so we can see that. And it's now booting up the game. So I'm just going to go with windowed and let's just launch that. And let let's see what we've got then. Let's see what it does. So okay. So control plus tab displays the overlay. So you can see in the background there, it does have our frames per second. Just ignore this because I do have NVIDIA running. Um, okay, yeah. Let's just go continue. So yeah, I have got my GeForce experience running, unfortunately. So that's this one in front. So ignore that. The Razer one is the background that says 61 frames per second. So here we do have a little tab. So we can take a screenshot or we can record. Um, or we can start streaming. So that's pretty cool. Um, can we actually move? There we go. So there's our frames per second from Razer. So let's take a screenshot. So that's cool. Um, Okay, so you can upgrade for extra features if you want. Um, I'm not going to do that personally, but you can if you want. So we've got a few settings here that we can choose while we're in-game. Take a screenshot of the full game or just windowed. Um, we've got a few devices there. We can select our webcam if we've got one. Frames per second. We can change the text, which is quite cool. So we've got it red now. And shortcut key. So there's the keys to all your shortcuts. So I'm just going to actually close down the game now. So let's just close that down. And oh, okay. So we're getting all sorts of pop up there. Okay. So what is this? Okay. So I'm just going to close that down because I don't think that's related to Razer. So here we have our FPS chart. So as you can see, we dropped off on frames there, but that could be where I alt and tabbed for a second. So as you can see, we were average, averaging 57 frames per second, and we got a maximum of 62 at one point. So yeah, and our minimum was zero frames, but like I said, that's probably when I done a alt and tab. So that's pretty cool. Here you can see what graphics card we got, our processor, what resolution we're running the game in, and the memory we have in our system. So memory, RAM, whatever you want to call it. So, okay, that's cool. And it's detected that we were in game for one minute, 49 seconds. So if we just go back now, so there's all our games. So let's actually go across to Game Booster now. And here, we can select at any time if we want to boost our computer. 
or if we want to optimize um, some tweaks. So we can go configure and we can disable a few things there. So as you can see here, it would change the values. So we can also restore to Windows default if we want. So yeah, you can pretty much click optimize. It's safe to do. So I'm just going to leave that for now. And here we got my rig. So we could see what our computer is like and running. So awesome. So let's just go back now. So here we have our boost. So pretty much you can go through. So calculate. We we don't want that running when we're booting up a game. So let's select that and let's have that close. I mean, why do I want a calculator running in my background? Um so yeah, you can pretty much go through here and you can select what you don't want to run and that is why those two programs close then um open so obviously when we booted up the game um razor actually closed team viewer and everything.exe and when we close the game it reopened those applications for us so that's pretty awesome as well if you ask me so here is obviously everything that you'd select that you want to close or be shut down when you load up your games so if we go back now and here you can defrag so defragging basically we're going to be it's basically like a messy filing cabinet you've got files all over the place and it's really hard to find what file you want if it's not in a certain order if we defrag our game folder it put it all into a nice order so the computer can read from that folder faster and more efficient so it make the game faster in theory so I think that is pretty much everything on this Razer um, Cortex. Um, like I said, it is really getting better now. And if you want it to boost up your games, it is definitely going to do that job if you're running a slow computer. I can assure you that. So remember to always boot your games up through Razer Cortex. Go through um, all the options on boost first because there's so much that you could get changed to speed up your machine um, so many unnecessary things like I don't need that to be running when I'm playing my games and stuff so yeah so I hope this tutorial helped if it did hit that like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials